Now, after installing WordPress, you come to this page, you say, congratulations, it is ready. Your WordPress is now ready for configuration, so click go to configuration page. At the moment we click on go to configuration page, it takes us to our WordPress login. Now, as remember, our email address is tutor, tutor web 3 at gmail com and our password and you can just select remember me and log in now when we log in this is how the standard WordPress platform looks like and I tell you on this platform you don't need to enter any kind of coding whatsoever if you know how to go about it and if you follow this video we'll be able to build a website without any code re required so now we're getting started for this video we'll be using Ocean WP team and we'll be using the best page builder in the world I call it the best page builder in the world because that is what I use every time I'm building a website we'll be using Elementor and we'll be using one of the best form plugin that is in the world and which is WP forms so let's get started I'm excited about it and let's go so the, the first thing you want to do is to click on your tutor web and click on visit site and when you click on visit site you can see what your website looks like oh this is what your website will look like for the first time you're logging into WordPress dashboard but not to worry we will change all this look in less than an hour so the next we go back to our dashboard when we go back to our dashboard the first thing we want to click on is post we want to remove any posts that have been existing on by default on the wordpress platform and we can select all say it says hello world and if you want to view what it looks like you can just right click and come to open a new new tab and when you click open a new tab you can see what this hello world looks like it's just a post by default on wordpress and you can see this is what it looks like welcome to wordpress as all well. and and so we just close it come back here and when we click click on bulk action move to bin and click apply the moment you click move to bin apply it sends it to the bin and here you can see bin we still have one item in the bin we want to remove any memory of anything that was pre-existing on wordpress and once we click on bin you can still see the hello world is still there so you click on everything there and delete permanently and say apply the moment we do this it is gone forever and it's ready for us to use and after we've removed all the posts that is existing there will go to pages and also try to remove every junk that is on the pages too you can see that there are two different pages on your website the sample page and privacy policy so i select everything there i click move to bin and i say apply i want you to follow this video step by step so that we won't miss any step and at the end of the day i want us to get the same result if not if not a better result than me but i want you to get something better you can see this is the idea we select this we we'll move to bin and click apply now it has been moved to bin and on our bin we have three items we click on our bin i will select all again and as usual delete permanently and say apply and the moment we click on apply it is gone forever and ready for us to use now you can see that i'm starting with a cleanup of our wordpress platform so that we don't begin to have conflicts as we continue to move on and we come here we click on install under plugin we click on install plugins the moment we click on install plugins you can see there are some plugins that are installed by default this is this is more of what i call marketing they put all this plugin by default because they are paid to do that so we click on all the plugins and we come to bulk action we'll first deactivate don't forget that is the first thing you do you deactivate the plugins that are active 
and after deactivating them you select all again and what you do this time is to delete them and you see apply and it gives you this message why not we want to send them packing so you can see they will all be deleted from your wordpress platform which is very good so we've been able to delete existing posts delete existing page delete existing plugins and i want you to know that plugins add functional functionalities to your to your web to your wordpress website and makes it more user friendly the next thing we want to do is to click on our users and when we click on our users sometimes we do want to change the password or the username for example you don't like the password you're using or there's a need for you to change this is where you change your password for wordpress you can see that is our email and if you need a password click on generate password remove this and type whatever you want and that will be good and so then after that we come to settings and we'll come to general and when we click on settings general from settings we go to general You can see this is our, our site title and this is our tagline we'll change all that in a couple of minutes so we'll come to permalink now the reason why we need to change the permalink is that we want our website to look friendly this is how our home page will look like dot com which is very good so we come to permalink we click on post name sample post and once we do that just go ahead and save it these are all what you've got to do before starting to design your website so that you don't forget at the end of the day and have to come back when you finish doing the important things so we've saved that and we are good to go.